What's up, everybody? Uh, Mopped here, and today we are going to be going over. So, up, boom! Mr. Goodbait one shots. All right. So, these were not sent to me by a company. These were actually sent to me by a group member, um, Stuart Peterson. So, thank you, man. Stuart's a great guy. He also sent me some coils. It's pretty, pretty nice coil builder too. So. Yeah, thanks, Stuart. And you guys see Stuart out in the group, you know, just uh, give him a little love. He's a good guy. So, um, yeah, he knew I wanted to try these out, and he had them, and he tried them, and, you know, after he tried them, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty much done with them. You can – so he mailed them out to me, and, yeah, I really appreciate that, man. Like, really appreciate that. So let's get it right down to it. Um, so the first one we're going to be looking at is Melonhead. Do it. All right. It's melon head. <laughs> um, and the description is a fusion of sweet cantaloupe, papaya, and mango cut with fresh citrus, created especially for the fruit craving vapors. Yeah. Um, Finally found out what, what I don't like about this one is that papaya. Um, yeah, the papaya kind of, you know, adds like this kind of floral note in there. It is really muddled um, to me. And there's a lot of sweetener in it. Uh, it actually kind of destroys coils. Like I was kind of surprised. Yeah. So with the sweetener and then just i kind of wish it was just more melon you know um it would have been really nice because the melon really gets buried in the background with those citrus and that papaya it just really really loses that melon and the sweetener definitely mutes it quite a bit too so what you really get is a lot of the floral notes from the papaya and then you kind of get the citrus kind of cuts through quite a bit and then you get a lot of sweetness in it. Yeah, and it definitely has sweetener in it because my coils were pretty wrecked after I baked on it for like a day or two. Um, I just don't get really get the melon out of it. Like a little bit, but it's just kind of buried out there, kind of buried in there in the background. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. It just, it, to me, it's not really good either. Um, yeah, it'd be like a two and a half out of five for me. It's just, yeah, not really my cup of tea, not where I like to go with a melon, uh, melon vape. And yeah, so that's melon hit. Um, the next one we're gonna be looking at is Sweet Lovin'. Oh, I think it's not one to focus today. Usually it's not too bad. Actually, I don't know. Sweet loving. A supreme mixture of the world's best strawberry and watermelon candy yeast cup with a smooth bubble gum. This one, I don't know what I get out of it, honestly. Um, Again, the sweetener really comes through. Like I taste a lot of sweetener. Um, definitely don't get watermelon. I get a little bit, I guess, of the strawberry. Kind of the tartar notes, from, like the tart notes from a strawberry. I don't really get bubble gum either. Um, yeah, mostly I just get the sweetener and some kind of like tartish note from it. Yeah, I I don't I'm not really getting the profile at all. Uh, yeah, that one I gotta give like a one out of five. Like I I just I'm not really getting 
getting anything out of it. Yeah. Anyways, and then the last one is moon sugar. And moon sugar is supposed to be a tantalizing mixture of a freshly baked sugar cookie, warm butterscotch, and toasted graham cracker that will have you floating on the moon. This one's actually not bad. Actually, this one, um, this is one I'll vape on. This one's pretty decent. Um, the graham cracker is actually really nice. That's like, that's kind of definitely mostly what you get. It's a graham cracker. And you can taste the butterscotch in there too. But it's kind of nice because to me, it's like the butterscotch and the graham cracker kind of mend together. And this one's not overly sweet like the other two are. Um, but the graham cracker is pretty bold. Like it's kind of got those those bitter notes that a graham cracker would have, which is pretty nice. And then, um, yeah, with that kind of sweet butterscotch in there. Um, this one's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's still not like blowing my mind good, but if, if you did want to pick one up to try, this is probably the one um, I would suggest. <laughs> um, Yeah, kind of get like nice toasted graham cracker and warm butterscotch. It's not too bad. Um, I would say like sugar cookies, probably a little too delicate of a flavor to to kind of come through butterscotch and graham cracker. So I don't really know where that's coming in, but uh, but you definitely taste the graham. The graham cracker is really nice in it, and the butterscotch, you know, probably could be a little heavier on the butterscotch, but it's it's in there a little bit. Um, and like I said, it's kind of the least probably has the least amount of sweetener in it, at least from the way it tastes. So, um, yeah, I mean, that one I'll give like a three and a half out of five. It's all right. I wouldn't pick it up again, but that's actually one that's, it's worth vaping on. I'll finish the bottle. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can pick up these um, if you do want to try them for yourself. Liquid Barn sells them, and I believe Chef's Flavors just picked them up, too. Um, I know it seems like they're going pretty quick on Chef's, but, yeah, they're on Chef's. They're on Liquid Barn. Uh, I gave you my thoughts on them. You know, obviously, that's worth pretty much nothing because <laughs> they're just my opinions. But um, that's my thoughts on them. So, you know, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Be good to each other. Till next time, talk to you all later.